Tony Sadiku is here. Tony, you were monitoring those storms in Nebraska, like 60, 70 mile an hour winds, right? Yeah, big time winds, big time snowfall, Tony, as well. And it's a piece of that storm system that we'll have to watch that's expected to bring us rain here in a couple of days. So we've got that yellow alert. Wanted to kind of run you through the big picture here. And while we're not looking for a repeat, the storm itself not expected to be as strong as the last several. There could be some impacts just given how saturated the ground is and how quickly the rivers can respond. Timing here is going to be Wednesday evening. Totals probably will be half inch to an inch a good bet, although there could be pockets with higher numbers than that, which could, of course, lead to at least some minor flooding. There's the storm system there. You can see a soggy Christmas from Minnesota to the Carolinas and all that snow. Just impressive out in the Dakotas. Not a white Christmas here. Not necessarily a festive or chilly one either. Look at those temperatures today. Many spots were in the 50s, officially the city. You got a high of 49 degrees. Big time difference from last year, more than 20 degrees warmer than last year. And I say enjoy days like this because by week's end into January, it could become more of a rarity. We will hang on to at least a couple more days of generally mild temperatures, numbers running above average. That's the story tonight with low clouds and fog. In the city, we'll actually see lows that are warmer than our average highs this time of the year. You will find 30s in the suburbs, and then tomorrow from 44, 50 shouldn't be hard to do in the city. Many spots, clouds, more clouds than sun. Numbers in the upper 40s right around 50. You see the clouds there. Can't rule out a spot shower in the afternoon. Most of you won't need to employ the umbrellas. That is until we get to about Wednesday morning. Here come the showers knocking on the door. Sullivan, Sussex County. All this begins to push into the city. Notice it's mostly light rain. Rain gets steady and potentially heavier into Wednesday night. That's why we've got the yellow alert for that. And the issue could be where these bands of heavier rain set up. Right now we've got some showers. This particular model in the northeastern New Jersey, that would be a problem. Just considering how saturated we are. Look at the rain totals. Over this month, we've been ambitious. More than five inches. That's a surplus. And for the year, the surplus is more than nine inches in the city. Where we stand right now, 15th wettest year on record. Won't take much for us to get into the top 10 if we get an inch more will do that. Most models have us near that ballpark heading into the end of the week. So we'll keep an eye on that part of the forecast. Otherwise, your seven day does show us drying out Thursday into Friday. It's a brighter looking weekend, but temperatures getting back to reality. Numbers low 40s, a little chilly by ball drop. By the time New Year's Eve rolls around. Yeah. All right, Tony, thank you.